Charlie Palove on the left of your screen. He's six foot two and Mundine six feet. The winner of this contest here this evening will fight for the vacant world title in the Cruiserweight division at Madison Square Garden in November or December. Twelve three-minute rounds. Mundine shoots right and left. Mundine with a left and right underneath and a left by Mundine. Below the south four. Mundine left and fires left and right. Right to the body by Mundine. Right by Pillow. Both men are exchanging fiercely in the opening round. Mundine works to the body. Three punches by Mundine. Left and right by Mundine. Beautiful punches. Left hook from Mundine. Left by Mundine. Pelot sticking the right out. Left and right from Mundine. Left and right by Mundine. Right back by Mundine. Left and right to the body, Mundine. Good right and left by Mundine. Mundine working to the body. Pelot picking off with rights as Mundine back with right and left. Four punches by Mundine. A very fast opening round. Both fighters look very fit and very confident. As Palove misses with a wild right. Three punches by Mundine, right to the body by Mundine. Pelove pulls him in close. Right and left by Mundine. Pelove scoring with right lead. Right and left by Mundine. Two more left from Mundine. Left by Mundine. opening round for Mundine. There goes the bell for round one. I scored that round 10 points to nine for Mundine. Mundine landed more punches in that round, at least he threw more, and he landed more. A very fast opening round. Whether the judges and referee will see it that way will remain to be seen. Charlie Jurgen, the trainer of Tony Mundine, rubbing the Vaseline on Mundine's face. Crowd of over 7,000 people here tonight at Garizia in Italy on the Yugoslav border. For Australian viewers, Garizia is similar to Wodonga or Tweed Heads, a border town in Italy. The referee in Italian and the two judges are also Italian. Round two. Twelve three-minute rounds. 
as Mundine opens with a left and right, left back by Palos, left and right Mundine. Palos to Southpaw. Left by Mundine, left by Palos. Atmosphere is electric here tonight. As the Yugoslavs have came came along tonight to cheer their fellow countrymen. Mundine with two right, Palau back with the right, left and right Mundine. Six punches by Palau, they didn't all land. Mundine working in the body, now crashing left by Palau. That shook Mundine, Mundine back with the right and left. Two right from Palau. and the left by Palos. Right and left back by Mundine. Exchanged by both fighters. Fever pitch excitement here in the arena this evening. by Mundine. Not all the punches are landing, viewers. A lot are being taken on Palais' gloves and Mundine evading a lot of them as the bill goes for round two. Now that round... I found it very difficult to separate both fighters for the obvious reason of whether the punches have actually landed clean or not. Now here's a slow motion replay on the disc. Mundine in there with a the left and right as you can see in Palau back with a right, Mundine with a left and right. As you can see the punches are not landing cleanly by either fighter. That round Round two, ten points each. After two rounds, I have Mundine leading 20 points to 19. That's by my scorecard. There you see the Palov in the blue corner being fanned down. Tony Mundine, 28 years of age. Marley Palov, 31 years of age. and right from Mundine, three right from Palov, good scoring punches, left and right by Mundine.
Mundine tonight is having his 78th professional fight and Palau is his 36th professional fight. And Palau in with two rights and a left at Mundine fires a right and left back. Mundine working into the body. Palau in with a wild left. Right by Mundine. exchanges by both fighters. Good left by Palau. Shook Mundine. Right by Palau. Brings the crowd to their feet in the background. Mundine fires left and right in. Scoring punches. Both boys are exchanging punches in centre ring. Right by Mundine. Left and right by Mundine. Crashing right. That staggered Palau. The great punch. That punch knocked Palau sideways. The bell for round three. Despite that great right hand Mundine landed, that absolutely rocked Palau. I gave the round to Palau. Ten points to nine. There you see the replay. I don't know whether we can pick that right hand on the bell for Mundine. There it is, a smashing right hand, and that literally rocked Palau. It was almost a knockdown. It was the best punch of the fight so far. Despite that great punch, I scored the round 10 to 9 to Palau because of the probing right hand jab that was landing and built up points. So after three rounds, I have a 29 points each. I don't think there'd be one person in the audience cheering for Mundine tonight. Round four. Flashing right and left by Mundine. Left and right by Mundine. Two rights from Palo. Good left and right return by Mundine. looking very confident. Good right and left by Mundine. A fast exchange. Flashing right and left and Palau is down. It looked a clean knockdown. A right and left of the body. But the referee has not applied a count. So that was not ruled a knockdown. At the end of the round, we may be able to pick up the replay. Well, I thought it was a knockdown. Palau back with right and left. Left and right by Mundine. Palau sticking the right out. Southpaw Palau leading with the right hand. Mundine in with a fierce right uppercut. Didn't find the mark. But he bangs a right and left home.
Great exchange by both fighters. What an action-packed fight so far. Mundine back with the left and right. Mundine retaliates with rights and left. A right uppercut, but if it had a landed, Pelot's head would have been in the bleachers. Three punches by Pelot, a great exchange. Right by Pelot. <coughs> The bell goes for round four. The referee did not hear the bell for the excitement and roaring of the crowd. Now round four, I scored ten points to nine in favour of Mundine. We'll see if we can pick up the replay of that knockdown. Now here it comes now, right from Pelos. Mundine moves into position, bangs the right to the body. Sends the right in, lands underneath the elbows and the left going up to the left hand side and topples Pelos sideways he was definitely knocked down it looked a clear knockdown although the referee who's probably in a better position to see it than anyone else did not apply a count that was a good round for mundine and i scored at 10 points to nine now after four completed rounds the third of the way mark i had mundine 39 and below 38 a slight lead for mundine and what a fast wonderful fight this is So you see Pelov in the corner. <laughs> round five, the scheduled 12 three-minute rounds, the international distance. This bout is a qualifier to compete in the World Cruiserweight Championship. Which, be the, which will be the initial World Cruiserweight title next month at Madison Square Garden. The press men and ringsiders have quoted Palo a two to one on favourite and he's probably unbackable at the ringside. A wonderful exchange by both fighters. Mundine fighting fiercely in the fifth round. <laughs> right hand leads, three of them by Palove. All scored, another right by Palove. A master tactician, Marley Palove. Great technical skill and a great defence as he's showing up against Mundine. A great exchange by both men. Left over the top by Polo, rock Tony Mundine. Mundine fires a right to the body. The left back by Polo, right by Mundine. Mundine on the attack, Polo swings the attack. The crowd are in a state of delirium.
by Palov. This seems a better round for Palov as the bell goes for round five. Now I scored that round to Marley Palov, 10 points to nine. The reason the right jab kept landing continually. Mundine was the aggressor in the round, but Palov with that right hand lead, boxed beautifully. He used it to advantage. He probed it in Mundine's face and I gave him the points 10 to nine. After five completed rounds, I have 48 points each fighter. You can hear the crowd in the background, viewers. Tremendous atmosphere here tonight at Garizia in Italy. And Video Ringside is very pleased to be here tonight to bring you Marley Palove and Tony Mundine. Charlie Jurgen wiping Mundine down. Mundine, professionally, the more experienced of the two men by the large, larger number of fights. Walsh Palove has held the World Light Heavyweight Championship and then lost that title only recently. Mundine, in 1974, was a one-time challenger to Carlos Monzon's World Middleweight title. Round six. The right hand by Palove. Keeping Mundine at bay. Hard left by Pelov. Left and right by Mundine. Left of the body by Mundine. Mundine's speed is blinding tonight. Left and right by Mundine. Mundine working to the body. exchanges left and right by both men what a seesaw battle this one is scoring a very emotional and excitable crowd here this evening Mundine that punch. Left and right back by Mundine. Right by Mundine. Good right by Mundine on the bill. Round six, I gave the Palo. Ten points to nine in favour of Marley Palo for round six. Now after six completed rounds and now at the halfway point of the fight, I have Palov leading 58 points to 57 in favour of Palov. Now, how the judges and referee will see this bout, I don't know. That is how I, how I have scored it. It is very difficult to assess this fight. It's such a fast fight. A large volume of punches are being thrown by both fighters. The defence and tactics of Palov he is a brilliant defender with high arm action, a magnificent defence. Whereas Mundine is fast and evasive, 
by means of speed of hand and maneuverability of his body. And he moves fast of foot. And the punches by both fighters are being cleverly evaded. A lot of the punches are not landing, and this is why it's a very difficult fight to score. Round seven of the scheduled 12 three-minute round bout. Mundine right and left already. Three rights by Pelot. <coughs> left and right by Mundine. Left by Mundine. Right by Mundine. Pelot flicking the right lead out. He chops the right like a cuffing style. by Mundine. Mundine is experienced enough not to let the crowd worry him. His 78th professional fight in a ring career of almost ten and a half years. Mundine started his pro career in March 1969. Right and left by Mundine. Right to the body Mundine. Mundine with the left. Pelot fights back with right and left. by Pelot. This is a better round for Mundine. Flashing left and right by Mundine. Uh, right by Mundine. Left by Mundine. Good scoring punches. Mundine looking very confident tonight. Leads by both fighters. Good exchanging punches. Pelot defended those left and right punches by Mundine. Crashing <laughs> right and left by Mundine. And the right and left by Mundine, right and left again. Blinding speed these punches are thrown at. These two have got to be the two of the fastest big men in the world today. That round I scored 10 to 9 to Tony Mundine. And after seven completed rounds, there's the replay. Good scoring punches by Mundine. Right in by Mundine, the left didn't find the mark. And there goes the right and the left, but Mun M Palove was able to evade them. Ten points to nine to Mundine. After seven rounds, it's 67 points each. And the big question is, in this fight tonight, the 15-pound weight pull of Palove, what toll it will have on Mundine after 12 three-minute rounds remains to be seen. With the height, reach and weight all in favour of Pelove. Bearing in mind that the weight division, the limit is 190 pounds, so Pelove is fighting within the division. Mundine, of course, campaigning in the cruiserweight division is only a light heavyweight, is voluntarily giving away the weight. Now what effect that will have on him over the rounds 10, 11 and 12, well, that may be the telling factor in the fight. Pelove is extremely tough, never been stopped. Mundine, on the other hand, his record does not show the same, would not be quite as tough as Pelove. Hitting power, Mundine, much the harder puncher. Mundine, I believe, is slightly faster. It's showing up tonight, his speed is slightly quicker than Pelove. But Pelove has the better defence of the two fighters.